We are back on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180. Our in-studio guest, Harley Pinson, candidate for Kern County Supervisor, 4th District. So, Harley, one of your favorite subjects I know is high-speed rail. Yeah, I think that high-speed rail should be stopped and uh, st- stopped immediately. It just uh, makes no sense, and it's bad for Bakersfield, bad for Kern County. Well, I understand that uh, from everything I've read that Merced is going to have more people getting on the t- high-speed rail train than uh, Penn Central Station. You know, uh, <laughs> Clay, That's the, what they said. the high-speed rail authority will say anything that it thinks of saying in order to get people to fund the high-speed rail uh, project. It will tell anything so that it gets the federal money, the state money, gets the legislature to issue the bonds. The, st- the high-speed rail, its only life now is the people who are working for or under contract to the high-speed rail authority who are saying we should build the high-speed rail. It makes no sense and it will destroy so much in Bakersfield and Kern County and the city of Wasco uh, without any benefit at all. Now the Bakersfield City Council about a month ago uh, finally after about three months of citizens asking them to passed a resolution in opposition to high-speed rail. I don't think it went far enough. That wasn't unanimous either was that vote? No it was Councilmember Benham voted against it. Uh, But uh, I don't think it went far enough because the council knew that the County of Kings had already filed a lawsuit to stop the high-speed rail. City of Hanford had. And in, in my view, the city council should have asked the city attorney to look into that as to whether the city of Bakersfield could join that lawsuit and uh, come back to them with a recommendation. It didn't do that. So essentially what the, what the Bakersfield City Council did is it passed the resolution and went home. It could have taken direct action in trying to stop the high-speed rail and by joining or at least looking at joining the County of Kings lawsuit to stop the high-speed rail. That lawsuit was filed a couple of months ago. What's the county's position on a high-speed rail? Well, you gave us the city's position. What's the county's? The county, I don't think, has taken has taken it up recently. I think that the people that save Bakersfield um, are going to take it up with the Ca- Kern County Board of Supervisors early this year. But I don't think, in the recent past anyway, with all the new information that we have about high-speed rail, that the county's taken a position. And state government, they're in favor of it, according to Governor Brown. Well, elements of the state government are for it. Governor Brown's for it, uh, in large part because the unions are for it, I think. And uh, Assembly Member Grove uh, is going to introduce legislation for a statewide revote. And Assembly Member Valadeo is going to, and Assembly Member Grove are going to lead opposition to uh, the bill that would have to pass in order for the state to issue bonds for the high-speed rail. So I think those are two things that are in the legislature that um, could stop the high-speed rail. But it looks like no matter what happens that uh, the governor uh, is going to uh, continue to support high-speed rail and that a large number of Democrats in the legislature will. So I think we have to attack it any legitimate way that we can and one of those is for the city of Bakersfield to look into joining the Kings County uh, lawsuit. So so what you're talking about there is exi- joining an existing lawsuit not suing on their own because I know people have talked about that. It's, it's not a separate suit, it's joining an existing lawsuit, right? Well it could be one or the other. Um, the city attorney would have to look into it to see whether it was it, it's feasible to join that lawsuit or to file another one and then report back to the council. But from what I've seen, no member of the council has even asked the city attorney to look into that. Why? And the county attorney? No, the city attorney. Oh, the city for the yeah. city lawsuit. Yeah. Okay. This and, and why? Why? Well, I have why no idea. Hesitation? I have no idea. Well, wasn't this voted on by the people of California and they said they wanted high-speed rail initially? Well, it was voted on, uh, yeah, in 2008, and but the the uh, project was 
it was sold to the people on the basis that it wasn't going to cost nearly as much as it is now. And they'd have private investors. And they'd have private investors. And who do they have lined up right now as a private investor? Well, they don't have anybody because nobody would put uh, private money into this. And if they say they can attract mm. private investors, uh, private investors, if they, if they have cents, and they do, will ask for a revenue guarantee, will ask for some sort of backing for, for their investment. And that will have to be investment from the government, I mean, backing from the government or a guarantee. So the, um, it's a fantasy. You know what's frustrating to me? Since 2008, they've been wasting the, the, the people's money on this program. If you were a private business trying to do something, you'd have been out of business by the end of 2008. Well, it w yeah, uh, that, that's right. And it's not out of business because it has enough funding to keep going. And if you look at what happens right now with the high-speed rail authority, most of its expenditures uh, go to selling the high-speed rail system to the people. And the people have sense. They know that this thing isn't viable. It isn't workable. And the high-speed rail authority is continuing to propagate a fantasy that would be bad for Kern County and Bakersfield because we'd have a ditch here. We might have track in it, but we'd never have trains. There's no money for trains. There's no money to electrify it, run it. And so the city of Wasco would have this uh, a disruption in Bakersfield. It would be several hundred homes, nine churches, businesses. And we talk about jobs. Well, this is what jobs and the tax revenue is this going to take away? There's no uh, evaluation, objectively, of what this is. It's a, it's a complete fantasy and a snow job by the High Speed Rail Authority. And our local officials, in, in my opinion, have been a little late to trying to uh, looking at this and to taking action uh, in opposition to it. We have had a general absence of civic leadership on this issue. Harley Pinson is our in-studio guest. I think Congressman McCarthy had a great idea when he talked about taking those dollars and using them to, to uh, increase the highways. Oh, yeah. I just drove, my wife and I just drove back from uh, Northern California from seeing her mother. And we traveled on Interstate 5 to, from the Bay Area to Bakersfield. And there was a tremendous uh, unused right-of-way there on Interstate 5 where you could put a third lane on Interstate 5, so you'd have a truck lane, and uh, I mean, the right of way is already there to, imp to broaden by one lane in each direction, Highway 5, and then to improve 99 between Bakersfield and Stockton, which are already commercial arteries in this valley, and then to improve Highway 119 from uh, Bakersfield to Taft. We already have a road system. We just need to spend the money to improve it and get away from this fantasy of high-speed rail. Harley, we've got a short time left, and uh, you are really up on top of the high-speed rail, and you are running for supervisor. And if you get elected as a supervisor for the county of Kern, what is your intent in regard to high-speed rail and bringing this to the forefront? Well, I would uh, provide some civic leadership on the issue to investigate, keep on top of it, and uh, not wait for a public outcry on that or, or any other issue. It's to uh, be proactive, to provide leadership, and uh, see you know if what legitimate ways are available to stop the high-speed rail project, whether it's litigation, lobbying, uh, whatever you can do on this and any other issue. We, I think. I would be proactive on high-speed rail and every other issue. I'd not be reactive. Looking ahead, what's best short-term, long-term for Kern County? Harley, appreciate you coming out and giving us the time. We'd love to have you back in the future. Well, thank you. I'd love to come back to see uh, both of you, especially Clay. He's such a tough interview. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. And don't forget to join us next week when our guests will be Mark and Kathy Abernathy to talk about the election. We'll be back in 167 hours on Taking Care of Business.